today we're going to cut these down. This one has a lot of sunflower seeds in it. And uh, I'm excited. I don't want the birds and pests to get to it, so let's get it chopped down. One seed wasted there. It was a little rough. I would assume people wouldn't do that, but as you can see, you just brushed away these tops on it. Really cool. Now those don't have the seeds in them there. Those are the flowers, I guess. But just underneath of all that are all the seed heads. So this thing is quite wide. Hope you guys can see that and from what we looked up and everyone told us we're ready once these all start dying off and before the pests get to them so you only have so much time until they realize the birds so nothing's touched this yet so i would say we uh definitely won this year feels really cool definitely fun we're gonna brush all this stuff off, I guess, before we let it dry and hang. I'm not sure, but I would assume not having these falling off in my garage is a good idea, so. Max, you gotta see how big it is. It's crazy huge. It's massive. Just don't drop it. Can you throw his hammer it with one hand in the air or what? Probably. Let's see it. <laughs> okay guys, I just wanted to share something quick. Uh, a while ago when we were on Broke Farmers Live, uh, Sam from the Weekend Garden Show, uh, that day I sprinkled my ground cherry seeds in here. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch developing right now. So fun when you get surprised looking in here. So this is what it is here. There's the cherry in the pouch. Hope you guys can see that. So cool. There's a bunch of them already showing up right now. But yeah, it's awesome to get surprised in your garden when you sprinkle seeds and totally forget about it. So. Those are ground cherries between them and the actual gooseberries. So here's our gooseberry bush that we were talking about earlier. This is a jewel gooseberry bush. Hard to see right now because we planted a couple herbs to take care of it. And they've obviously grown really well in between. So look, there's our onions. I thought that would be a good idea to protect it because the cabbage worms were actually starting to hit it and eat it up, but now it's fine. Quick one there and I wanted to you know, show off how excited I am to find this kind of stuff.